Hello, troublemakers! Welcome into Movie Commentary Monday? Is this a Movie Commentary Monday? I watched the last episode of You, out of context, not knowing anything that's happened in the show. And I think that was the first video in a series where I just watch shows out of context. I kind of did that with Insatiable back when that came out, but that doesn't count. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna watch the pilot episode of a TV show, and then the series finale. And based on my intuition and my inference skills, I'm gonna be able to put the pieces together on everything that's ever happened in the show. You don't think I can do it? Watch me. Literally watch me. I'm gonna do it. Just continue watching the video. Today we're gonna do it with Vampire Diaries. All right, eight seasons. Do I need eight seasons? No, I need the pilot and I need the series finale. That's all I need. Have you never seen Vampire Diaries before? Doesn't matter if you have, because you're going in with the same knowledge I have. Couple questions we gotta answer. Number one, who are the vampires? Number two, why are they keeping diaries? How interesting could the diaries even be, honestly? Monday, August 24th, I sucked some blood. It tasted like blood. I will follow up tomorrow. Oh, interesting. Reeling from the death of her parents, 17-year-old Elena becomes interested in a handsome new student named Stefan, who's hiding a dark secret. I wonder what that dark secret could be. Let's find out. For over a century, I have lived in secret. Okay. Hiding in the shadows. Hiding your dark secret. An hour each way. <laughs> he wasn't that bad. They're gonna hit him. They're gonna hit him with the car. Look at the road, look at the road, look at the road, look at the road. You're driving in a fog. You're gonna hit this vampire with your car. <gasps> Look out! Watch out! Jesus. Ooh. My man pulled like an ice skating trick. Watch him twist and turn in the air. <laughs> Get that man some skates. Send him to the US Olympic team. Are you okay? <laughs> I don't check on her. You just hit a person with your car. Are you okay? You are? All right, let's take off. How did I know this? Was this CW? I'm pretty sure this was a CW show. I'm not gonna take any pride in getting predictions right. Okay. That was shot in a very CW way. And by that, I mean loud sound effects, very minimal prosthetics and makeup, and also it's just like over in a second. Darren! Darren! I hope you didn't get eaten by a vampire. What, did she get picked up by a fucking crow? Wait, can, va can vampires fly? Darren! <laughs> That's so funny. Darren! <laughs> I have to know her. <laughs> can vampires just stop the flow of gravity? But the way he landed so softly, they must be able to manipulate gravity because he picked her up from the air. Dear diary. It's her diary! I was joking! I didn't think there was gonna be a real diary here. There better be a diary in the series finale. And it better fucking wrap this whole thing up. I will smile, and it will be believable. Why is it always depressed girls that are getting their lives wrapped up in vampires? Bella wasn't happy, her mom ditched her, and she's with her dad in some shit town. She's like, mm. Why can't a happy girl get twisted up into a vampire world? I can make toast. Don't tell me that's her mom. Coffee, Aunt Jenna. Her mom is, oh, it's an, her aunt. Okay, interesting dynamic. Parents died. Don't start. He's getting turned into a vampire. You see his haircut? That is a vampire waiting to happen haircut. Our ancestors were from Salem, which isn't all that I know. Crazy, but cool. <laughs> I can't wait to see how that develops in the series finale. <laughs> My family descended from Salem witches. Come on. If she doesn't get power, I'm gonna get Is this Tokyo Drift? Why are all these cars drifting so hard? Freaked out by cars for the rest of my life. Our parents died in a car. Oh, her parents are the pa are the parents that got eaten. Darren, <laughs> Darren was her dad. The six hour window. All I see is back. It's a hot back. <laughs> is it? What's hot about this back? Yeah, I love the way his ass doesn't pop out of his jeans at all. <laughs> and we do insist on transcripts. Please look again. I'm sure everything you need is there. Okay, he mind control. Well, you're right. So it is. So her brother's a drug dealer. Interesting. First day of school and you're stoned. Stop! I don't have anything on me. Are you crazy? You haven't seen crazy, Jeremy. Oh, boy. If I know one thing, if a girl says you haven't seen crazy, I know to back off immediately. Because <laughs> I know that I haven't seen crazy at that point. You haven't seen the levels that I could take things to. I'm like, yes, you're right. You're right. I apologize for everything. I'll apologize for my own existence. I'll leave now. But he didn't notice her just staring. Pardon me. Mm. 
let me vomit now. Oh, you're going that way? Oh, you're going that way? Oh, 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 oh. All right, you can go now. Hot E staring at you. Dear diary. What is this? Come on, what is this? Why? That is so creepy. That's not creepy in a sexy way. That's just creepy in a creepy way. He's got his hand in his belt loop. <laughs> okay. I'm Elena. I'm Stefan. I know. We have history together. In English and French. They have some past. If she's been reborn, this... <laughs> we have history together. Oh, you mean the class? Yeah, okay. You think you're clever, scriptwriters. <laughs> we have history together. <laughs> oh. oh, that is a sizable wound. You should go. Really, it's nothing. <laughs> Everything I've kept buried. He's keeping a diary too. They're really taking the show title too seriously. Do you need another refill? I love you. Please tell me you're not hooking up with my sister. Hey, what's your deal? You can't keep following me around like a lost puppy. When's the last time you had sex with a puppy? Hey, keep it <laughs> I hope never. <laughs> I don't want to tell the whole world I deflowered Elena's kid brother. And deflowered and deflowered. <laughs> Sorry, I was about to knock. Don't. Why are you here? I must have dropped it. I... Don't worry, I didn't read it. Why not? Most people would have. Wouldn't want anyone to read mine. You keep a journal. <laughs> Tell any girl that you write, especially like a journal or a diary, you're like, oh, you're in touch with your feelings. This man has potential. I get it. I get it. Memories are too important. He's saying all the right things. Yeah. She's so turned on. My parents passed away. Any siblings? None that I talked to. Darren! <laughs> you said you had it under control. And I do. Uh, it wasn't him. How many casualties resulted in this battle? 13,000. Mr. Donovan! He hasn't got it. The vampire's got it. The vampire knows. He was there. I don't know. I was willing to be lenient last year for obvious reasons, but the personal excuses ended with summer break. My man really just said you had a summer to get over your parents dying as a teenager. Enough with the excuses. Answer my fucking question in class. Otherwise, you're gonna see crazy. You think you haven't seen crazy? 346 casualties. 346. That's why I, so I said. Of course, there were no civilian casualties in this battle. Actually, there were uh, 27. Confederate soldiers, they fired on a church, believing it to be housing weapons. The Founders' archives are uh, stored in Civil Hall if you'd like to brush up on your facts. Hitting back at authority. See how they set him up to be the asshole? Okay, that guy's an asshole and he's authority. Two things that teenagers do not like. It's not gonna happen now that you're not like this. No. Then no! Ow! That hurt. Hey, leave her alone! Vicky Donovan says no. That's a first. Man was trying to rape her. Now I know who to hate! Hey, um, are you okay? Your eye, it's just, it's... Oh, um, are you thirsty? I'm gonna get us a drink. How? This man is disappearing, appearing out of nowhere, like four times now? He's just appeared before you. Or disappeared from you. Don't tell me she's gonna die. No way. Anyways, my point was, and now his eyes are weird. He, he ran away because of the blood. Like, how are you not putting the pieces together? The fog rolling in. Put the pieces together, girl. Is she gonna die? She has such a unique face. She doesn't look like she has the face of someone who's gonna get killed off immediately. She has too unique of a face to be killed off. <laughs> There's no way. No, I don't believe it. She's too hot to kill off in the first episode. That's a fact for a CW show. If they're too attractive, they're a main character. He didn't do it. He, he wasn't the one that did it. That was a misdirect. You and me, it's not gonna happen. I don't wanna hear it. She's fine. She's gonna wake up. <laughs> She's a vampire now. It wasn't him. Don't run away suspiciously. Now he's suspicious. Someone else was attacked tonight, Zach, and it wasn't me. I knew it wasn't you. I believed in you. <laughs> no fucking way. Can he speak to animals? Oh, he's about to say it. They asked if he had a brother or family, siblings before, and he said, none that I still speak to. That's why he's shocked to see him. But it's gonna be Ian Somersault. I knew it. Hello, brother. I knew it. Prediction machine is just going off. I'm so skilled, bro. I don't need to see seven and a half seasons. How many episodes is season one? I guess 24, right? 22? The guys that I want 
never want me. Oh, are we gonna feel sad for her? Lena always says the right thing. Mm, there it is. And she's always the one that everyone picks for everything. I try so hard. I'm never the one. I would almost guarantee that that monologue is the one that she did in casting to get cast. It was so dramatic. And if you don't pull it off well as an actor, this whole first episode just feels a little bit more cringy. But she did a good job there. I hope she sticks around for a while. Yeah, it is. I guess I don't really care because I'm not going to watch it, but... <laughs> oh! Someone without the past. Without the pain. Someone, Someone alive. alive. <laughs> the bad things stay with you. I don't like his hair. Don't. Why are you here? You've known her for two days. She's known you for two days. And this is the second time you've shown up at her house. If this girl doesn't know that he's a vampire by the next episode, I would be pissed as a fan. Would you like to come in? Yes. It's not a terrible first episode, but if she doesn't know he's a vampire by next episode after the girl was like vampire. Vampire. I already know how that next episode would play out. Cause they're gonna wanna drag out this mystery for her. It's gonna be like six, seven, eight episodes before she finds out. <laughs> Episode five, Stefan is hopeful about his plan to get rid of Damon and decides to reveal parts of his past to Elena. So just parts of his past. Hmm. How about the parts where you drink blood? <laughs> All right, let's go to season seven, baby. Season eight, my bad. As the fate of Mystic falls and Elena hangs in the balance, Damon and Stefan confront their most dangerous foe in one final showdown. Do we need any pretext? I don't think so. Before we watch the final episode, did you know that The Vampire Diaries is based on a book series? And do you know where you can find that series? That's right, it's Audible who have sponsored today's video. Audible has a massive library of audiobooks and they're offering a free 30-day trial to get you started. You wanna know more about Stefan and Damon and Elena, even more than the show can provide? Go to audible.com slash Dylan is in trouble or text Dylan is in trouble to 500-500. You'll get those 30 days and you'll also get a free credit that you can use on this audiobook or any other audiobook that you want. Do you want a different vampire story? Audible has a whole section of them. Look at this man. He looks ready to drink some of your blood. <laughs> also, if you do sign up by going through audible.com slash Dylan is in trouble, I'll leave a link for that in the description, you'll get access to unlimited Audible originals every single month. So head on over to Audible and sign up. Big thank you again to Audible for sponsoring, and now let's head on to the final episode of The Vampire Diaries. Here we go, okay. <laughs> What happened? Oh, she's still around? <laughs> Bunny. Oh, is he married to Elena? I love how we just skip past like her, the other girl getting the powers and all that. And she's just like, Elena, you can't die. I'm ready. Oh, so she is dead. Enzo. Oh, hey, Enzo. Sorry, love. But it's not your time. She got a British dead vampire boyfriend. <laughs> I saw Lena. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see how this ends. I encourage more people to do this because it's so fun. Shows that you don't intend to watch, just watch the first and last episode. It's so much fun. I'm sorry, but there's nothing you can do to stop me. She's still here. Yeah. As he throws her out a window. I knew she was going to survive episode one, but I thought she'd be like, a season four or five casualty. Sorry, but Catherine told me to ring this bell every five minutes until Mystic Falls burns. Okay, so she has to ring a clock and then burn the town, and that's gonna burn the town. <laughs> hmm, okay. Damon? What? You're both okay. <laughs> what? She's with him? <laughs> She's with the evil brother? Catherine. Hello, brothers. Oh, is she a sibling? Ooh-wee! Damn, this is fun! Who's he married to then? That's for me to know, and for you to dot dot dot. Still cringy. They still managed to inflict some cringe into this eight years later. Watching you take on the devil. Especially considering I've had him wrapped around my finger since the minute I stepped into hell. They've been fighting the devil and hell. They're literally going th through hell? And they're fighting Satan. <laughs> oh, he's a sheriff now. Why is everyone surviving? Why did no one die in eight seasons? It's my next stop. Okay, I'll meet you there. Oh, are they married? Are they together? Show me that picture. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see that picture. No, that's you and your mom. No. Who's this man? In the car with the girls. I grabbed the baby books. Don't make me have to tell those girls you died because you put somebody else before them. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> Kevin! What was his name? 
from episode one. Da, da, Darren, Darren. <laughs> this show is the best, man. Oh, there's her coma body. So they're not together anymore, huh? Cause he loved her through time, right? He loved a past version of her. Once that last bell rings, this stupid town will go up in flames and everybody will go poof. That's the scale. That's the maximum scale that they pressed outward towards is burning a town. I expected it to be like a whole state, a whole country is in danger. The whole, the state of the world maybe, but they're like this town. <laughs> That's how you know it's CW. The stakes just rise minimally every every season. It's just like, ee, ee. And she would choose Stefan. Stefan is the better man. Whoa, wait, wait, has she not chosen yet? What if there's a thruple in the end? Two brothers and a girl. I can't believe this is happening. What? What's happening? I made a promise to Rick. Who's Rick? That I wouldn't risk the girls growing up without a mother. Oh. You get to safety. Family first. We're family now. They're all related now? <laughs> okay. Oh, they all, what is happening? <laughs> I thought she was with the other, they're not his kids? Who's she with? Oh my God. It's like I live in a different world than these people. Everybody's just with everybody. Maybe the kids aren't their kids. Maybe they're, they're adopted little vampire children or something. I don't want to fail them, but I can't fail my daughters and they need their mother. Rick, if there was something we could- I'm surprised how boring this episode is for the series finale. Like a bunch of talking sets, they're just sitting there talking. You need more action, bro. Trying to find a way to destroy Cade's hell. A few million volts of mystical energy? That kind of took the wind out of our sails. Like the kind of energy contained in Hellfire? <laughs> uh, I had a plan, but it fell through because we didn't have this one thing that we would never be able to obtain. You mean a thing like this? But the only way it gets rid of Catherine Pierce is if she's in hell when I destroy it. They're gonna destroy hell to save one town. I'm gonna save the world. The world or the town? <sighs> Just don't do anything stupid. I'll be fine. Mm, she'll be all right. The show seems to refuse to be able to kill off actual main actors. The fact that everybody from the pilot episode is still alive, including the girl that got bitten, the brothers, all the side characters, except her brother. Where is he? Oh, he. I think they kill off the drug brother. We're talking about hellfire. So intense it could obliterate anything within miles. I'm not going to leave you to die here, Stefan. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm human. In 60 years, I'm going to be old. I'm going to be dead. Oh, whoa. He's back to human. I just got married. To who? My wife who? is out there waiting for me to come home to her. Let me do this for you. Oh, it's emotional. Please. Oh, oh it's so sweet. It's a good scene. God, I love you, little brother. I love you too. Okay, not kiss. You are human. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. He's got a trick up his sleeve. Which is why I can do this. Yeah. And you are not gonna stop until my death breaks the compulsion. Wow, okay, so that he's using his mind control. <laughs> Powers. Obviously, the ones vampires have. I think there's some lore of vampires bewitching people. You're about 15 years too late to be paternal. I just wanted to see my daughter one last time. <laughs> the problem is everything is lit the same. We just we just came off of an emotional scene between the two brothers. They're just like crying, having this conversation, trying to like convince each other, and that's exactly what this scene is. Lit the same way almost. It's just this dark, harsh lighting. Everyone's crying. I space them out, at least a little bit. Put some action in between. The action in this show is a joke. She's starting her witchery. Let's go here. Please uh, look good. Just look okay, at least. Come on. Asmatos. What a horrible transition. I wonder if the town's gonna be saved. We'll see. Hi, this is Stephanie. Leave your number. I need you to know that I understand. I love you. I will love you forever. Okay, they must be married. Ooh, fire going around rocks. How climactic. Ah! So Hellfire is like the most powerful thing in existence. And she's just like, I got it. <laughs> no one died, no consequences. How is this a series finale? Ah. I gave him my blood. The cure. Goodbye, brother. 
He's the better man. He's the right man. Did they really drag out the love triangle for eight seasons? I, he got married to someone else. There's something I have to say. <sighs> well, you're keeping secrets now? What did he say? You're gonna reveal it in the end of your diary. That's how this comes full circle. Dear diary. <laughs> I mean, it has the dramatic heart, pull on your heartstrings moments for sure. But if I was a fan of this show, for eight seasons, I would be so disappointed in this episode. If you're gonna bring elements like Satan and hell into this, you better show me something a little bit more than some fire. Just a little fire here and there. What if they were just like a lesbian couple right now? That'd be, that'd be exciting. Stefan said something to me before we parted. Are you not gonna tell your diary? I heard her. Oh, her voicemail. He got my message. <laughs> and life goes on. Why is his arm like up here? He's like, I will walk you. <laughs> I remain the sheriff. They even gave me a bench. And Vicky, Mystic Falls is safe. I remain the sheriff. They even gave me a bench. Okay, first of all, they have a ribbon cutting ceremony for a bench. And then secondly, bench. who is that guy? Is this guy the same guy that tried to sexual sexually assault this girl? And he gets the girl. Well, I think she found peace. With her sexual assaulter? Sick. Got what Damon decided was Stefan's last wish. I, he opened an X-Men school for the young and gifted? A vampire X-Men school. Oh no, Oh, okay, she died. Doesn't matter. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You see this guy? He looks familiar, right? That's because he's the brother. I didn't see him when I first watched the episode, but now that I'm editing it, I'm seeing him. So I'm sitting here thinking, okay, if they didn't kill him off, why is he only just getting a little small cameo? Not even a single line in the episode. So I went to the Vampire Diaries Wikipedia, and it says that he was killed in season four, but then resurrected from the dead. So then I started looking at other people's bios, and it looks like a bunch of people started dying, and then they just were resurrected. So that's the thing on the show, man. People just die, and then they just come back because, uh, because <laughs> she got a most impressive donor a three million dollar donor claws oh santa what went wrong with her and stefan though that was another flash transition fade to white flash to white shocking that feels apt that feels like the way you should end your series. Because I saw so many fade to white transitions. A show about the devil himself. <laughs> Here's my thought process. Uh, and I'm going to critique the final episode as if I know everything. Which I do. Because I have great inference skills. The whole climax could have been better. Like they were going to burn a town. I, f I feel so let down. They did hit the emotional beats pretty well. Like I feel like they had some like good send off moments. But the problem is you had, you had like moment after moment after moment after moment and then you kept bringing in old people that have been gone for the longest time probably the whole destroying hell just came out of nowhere they're like oh i had a plan but it didn't work because we missed this one vital element and the other person was like hmm how about this basic thought could, could that be the missing link in saving everybody and the other guy's like oh yeah i guess we didn't think hard enough about it whoops could have saved everybody super easily. Barely an inconvenience. <laughs> Seeing that this is the series finale and it didn't have like any cool effects or any cool fights, I'm just assuming that there has never been a single cool fight or effect in the show. So fans of the show, I'm sure they weren't disappointed or let down. They got their emotional moments. They also got like all the reunions. They bring back all the dead cast members. I want to thank Audible again for sponsoring this video. Just go to audible.com slash Dylan is in trouble. Hook yourself up. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Toodles.